Grace. Hey, how you doing out there? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my dear <laughs> brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you're saved out there. Hey, I and I'm not just telling you that. I really do. I believe that I, <laughs> hey, with all my heart, I hope that you are That's saved right, out amen. there. That's right, amen. You better and, be. And uh, listen, we might not be speaking to uh, just a bunch of saved folks. There might be... There might be somebody out right. there who doesn't know That's Jesus, right? right? Don't yeah. know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And listen, today could be your day. That's right. We're going to give listen, you that opportunity. Strap in. That's right. And because uh, Ian and I are going to share some uh, some of God's Word with you. That's right. And, uh, and at the end of this, we're going to uh, we're going to do a salvation prayer, and it'll be your opportunity to climb aboard. Yes, and you don't want to miss that opportunity. No, no, we do not. That's right. We know that we know that uh, missed opportunity breeds regret. That's right. Lots of regret, and especially you, if you're not saved. Lots of regret, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's right, amen. So anyways, mm. we're just so glad that you guys are joining in. Yes. We're reading through the Bible in a year. Right. And we're going to give you that reading program. But first, Steve, Steve and I want to welcome you to this 714. 14. And where do we get 714? Second Chronicles 714. 7, <laughs> That's it. And God says it like this. And, and listen, this is what you need to get in here. That's right. Get it right. in your heart. Get, get it in, in your heart. Get it memorized. And, and meditate on it yes. daily. Listen, God says it like this. He says, if my people, that's you and I, who, who are called by my name yes. will humble themselves, yes. pray, and seek my face, Amen. and turn from their wicked ways, yes. then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal, heal their, their land. land. Amen. Listen, hallelujah. We are land needs healed. That's right. And take a look around. There's a lot of mess going on out there. And listen, God is, he is the healer. He's the only one that can fix it. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. And uh, our sin That's right. needs forgiven. Forgiven. That's right. And that is, that is between you and God. That's right. And you ask God That's to right. forgive you of your sin. He is faithful and just to do it. That's right. He's and a he, loving father. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's so loving. <laughs> yes, he is. It's awesome how loving he is. Yeah, Merciful, so kind, Come on. gentle. Come on. All of that. <laughs> and much, much more. Right on. All of that wrapped up, <laughs> That's man. That's right. Woo. Yes. Tell you, we serve an awesome God. That's right. So, you know, be praying, too. Be praying for our country. Be praying for Israel. Be, be praying for our pastor. Right on. Um, yeah. That yeah. God, that's who, that's 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 communication between you that's and right. God is to get in, in on your face. Get into that prayer. prayer. Get in that prayer time. Seek His face. Read His word. Get it in you. Right on. I so I, I, I can hear out, you out it. there. So I don't have time to pray. Yes, yeah, you, you do. do. You got time. <laughs> you got and some you got time. time to read. And that, well, if not, then you know what? Tune in with us. We Amen. we'll help you walk through that daily. Amen. Monday through Friday, yes. Steve and I are here. We will help you walk. Walk it. Right on. Through the Word. Right on. So today's reading program is Jonah chapter 3 and chapter 4, yes. Isaiah 6 and Proverbs 31. And so today we are going to speak or expound a little bit on Jonah chapter 4, um, verses 1 through 4. And I think, or did you want me to read that? Or no. You got I, it? I got it right here. Okay. I, I do. I got the reading. Okay. I wanted to give Let's you a little it. background. If you, if you don't know the story, Jonah was sent to uh, Nineveh. Nineveh. Right? By God. Mm -hmm. By God, a place where he didn't want to go. That's right. He up and fled <laughs> the scene. That's right. All right. He got on a boat going 1,500 miles the opposite direction. That's right. Listen, God, God's got a plan, and he had a plan for Jonah. He's got a plan for you. Yes, and he had a plan for Nineveh. Because <laughs> God's merciful. He's loving. He's Amen. kind, and he's gentle. Yes. <laughs> so even to this godless yes. people... God had a plan for That's them, right. and he was going to send Jonah, Jonah, the man That's of God. Right. Jonah didn't want to go. All right, here's the story of Jonah's anger and God's kindness. Right. And it says, but it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he became angry. So he prayed to the Lord and said, uh, Lord, that's just what it says in my Bible there. <laughs> uh, was this not what I said when I, when I was still in my country? Therefore, I fred, uh, fled previously to Tar Tarshish, that's hard to say, uh, for I know that you are a gracious and merciful and God, God, slow to anger, and, and abundant in loving, loving kindness, kindness, one who, who relents, relents from doing, doing harm. harm. You know, God doesn't want to harm anyone. He wants uh, He wants relationship with people. That's right. That's Isn't right. that the truth, that's Deanna? Right. Yeah, amen. So therefore, O oh Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Then the Lord said, it is right for you to be angry. Right. 
That's right. Yeah. So here we are. Jonah is the story of Jonah. He didn't want to go to Nineveh. God sent him to Nineveh. He didn't want to go. But God chose him anyways. Oh, yeah. And he got him that's there. That's right. And in the belly of a fish. There. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he got him there. Yeah. Jonah's life was, was he was, uh, he was an example of true godliness. True. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. One who God trusted. Yes. Yeah. Right? Amen. That's right. He did have a heart of submission, obedience, humility, and mercy. And that's what godliness is really all about. It, it is about having a heart of submission, obedience, humility, and mercy. Right on. And Jonah kind of lacked in mercy. Well, he might have la lacked in that mercy, <laughs> Deanna, right. right? He didn't want to, well, we already told you he didn't want to go because he knew the power of God's word. He there knew it is that the power of God's word would transform the people there, and he didn't want them experiencing God's forgiveness. Right? He didn't. They, listen, the, the history of Nineveh was, was really quite uh, graphic, <laughs> okay? And so he didn't want that. He, did, he didn't believe that they should be experience God's goodness. That's right. Right? Yes. So we can't allow. Come on. Anger, yes. pride to remain in our heart. Right on. That's what led to Jonah's disobedience. Did you say disobedience? Disobedience. That's, That's what right. it was. We have to turn away from these types of attitudes. Yes. And, and, and seek to have God's character, mm. his mercy, his grace, his pa patience, his forgiveness, and his loving kindness. Right. That's right. Jonah's faith in God was unwavering. Absolutely. And he knew without a doubt yes, who God was. Right on. And that God would be true to his own character. Do you know that God <laughs> will transform you Amen. so that you will take on his character? And that's Amen. what he wanted for Nineveh. He wanted them to have his character. He wanted them to repent. Yes. And, and to come to know him. Amen. That's right. Yes. Tra that kind of transforming faith, it yes. really is it really is more than just having knowledge. That's right. Not just the knowledge of God. Yes. But to That's right. know Him. That's right. Amen. It changes us, it <laughs> molds us into the image of the one who we place our trust. Mm, amen. And guess where is it where where is it where is it expressed through, Steve? It's through our heart. Yep. And our attitudes, and our that, actions. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right on. Right on. So that's what what should be our response when God calls you to do something you don't want to do. Just do it anyways. That's be right. obedient. Be, be obedient. And do it anyways. Right on. Be be what should just, be? Ha just have that willing heart. Man, that should be our attitude. Yes, that should be our attitude. God, I, listen, I want I want to be used by God. That should be my attitude, right? Yes. And it should be yours as well. Be obedient. That's right. Be obedient. Or just give God lip service. That's right. Be obedient. That's he right. says to go. Hey, when he says to go, pray for that person yeah. in the parking lot yeah. at such and such a place. Be obedient. Just be obedient to, to him. See that's what right. God does. That's right. Amen. That's <laughs> He's awesome. gonna blow your mind. That's right. He will. That's right. <laughs> blow your mind. So by faith, receive God's instructions and allow God to change the way we think and the way we act. Right. Amen. That's right. We, we are to receive yes. instruction. Yes. What's this in your hand right here, Levy? Is, is this is this the instruction manual? That's right. That is the and we can't express that enough, can we? No, we cannot. We need this to. We need to get get, get, get in the day. word right Every now. day. Amen. Every day. Amen. That's right. Lord. Amen. You know what I think? Watch your walk just yes. deepen with Him. Amen. You know, as you get into His Word and. You're seeking his face and you're praying. Right on. You know, I love about God. He gave us his only begotten son. Yeah. That's right. That whosoever shall believe in him Amen. shall not perish, but That's have right. everlasting life. Amen. Just find that in John 3, 16. And if you want him today, yeah. if you want to receive him. Yes. Come on. Here's your opportunity. This is your opportunity. This is, could be your day. And listen, if you're, if you're ready, listen. Just say, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, because this is such a serious thing. Yes. Uh, such a serious decision. God doesn't want your lip service. He, does, he doesn't want a half-hearted prayer. Right. He wants all of you. That's right. Amen. And he's given his all 
40. That's right. So if you're ready, just repeat after me and say, Father God. Father God. I come to you now. I come to you now. I need Jesus. I need Jesus. To come into my heart. To come into my heart. To be my Savior. To be my Savior. I believe. I believe. In my heart. In my heart. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for me. And I believe. And I believe. That he rose from the dead. That he rose from the dead. So that I could have eternal life. So that I could have eternal life. With him in heaven. With him in heaven. Thank you. Thank you. For saving me. For saving me. Amen. Amen. Listen, it's a simple enough prayer. It is. It's you know, just listen, simple. it doesn't. You ain't got to jump through a bunch of hoops to get right. into heaven. You just, it's a simple right. prayer, Amen. and uh, meant from the heart. Amen. Right on. That's right. What's the Bible say? You come from your heart, spoken oh, with your mouth. That's right. Yes. And uh, <laughs> listen, if you if you prayed that prayer, we're excited about it. <laughs> we're excited for That's you. Right. And they're rejoicing in heaven. That's right. And make sure you let us know. Our website, our church website, numbers at the book going to be at the bottom of the screen. Right on. Make sure you give us a call or email us. Right on. Just let us know. Hey, yeah, I received Jesus. You know, Don't we're going to pray for you. We want to pray for you. The subscribe button. Yeah, yeah. Hit that, <laughs> hit that button. <laughs> Absolutely. Right on. Listen, if you're looking for a church, we know a good one. That's right. Rest Life Church, St. Louis, Michigan, right there at 714. Yes. South Main Street That's in right. St. Amen. Louis, Michigan. I'm telling you, it's an awesome church with an awesome pastor right. with an awesome message yes. for you and for yes. everyone who That's attends right. there. Listen, you're gonna feel the love of God, and you're gonna feel uh, you're, you're gonna feel His presence. Yes. God's presence in that Amen. place. Amen. 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 That's right. So listen. Amen. That's right. That all being said, we hope to see you there. Yeah, we do. We hope yeah. to hear from you. Absolutely. Yeah. See you there. Hear from you. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank God for each person listening today. Uh, Father God, that they do have a heart, a, a heart to of a, obedience. Father God, that they would obey Your word. Yes. That they would seek You out, Father God. Yes, God. That they would humble themselves and repent. Yes. Turn from their wicked ways, Father God. Yes. I pray that each person today receive this word. Yes. Not run from it. Yes. But receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We love you. Yes, we do. And we, we call you, you blessed. Yes. In and the we'll name of Jesus. And we'll see you Monday morning. Make sure you come back and, and get with Steve and I. Right on. We're excited. We want to we want you with us. Yes, we do. Okay. Peace. Peace.